Hall, and today we're going to take a look at one of Victoria's local coffee hotspots. Usually we take a look at a chef, an event, or a location that I think is amazing. But today we're going to see one episode of a six episode series focusing on coffee houses. So get comfortable and be prepared to see something that is totally delicious. Mike, we're here to find out some history on the Spiral Cafe and what was your inspiration behind the coffee house experience here? We've tried hard to, uh, to follow the dream, you know, like we want to have a place that's a neighborhood place and uh, a community place, uh, kid friendly, yeah. Yeah. you know, and I'm a musician so I love music. Yeah. My, uh, my partner's an uh, artist and she loves art. so. Hopefully, all three things, the family, the art, and the music is all, you know, shown, showcased here at the Spiral, because yeah. those things are important to us in our life, and, um, you know, for me, uh, people say, oh, you, we can't believe what you've done for, this, for the neighborhood uh, by, by uh, running the Spiral, and I, I always answer, um, the neighborhood has done way more for me you know, it's just the way they've embraced the spiral and made it their own and cha mm. made changes. And, you know, the people that work for me are all from, a lot of them are from the hood too. And, and we all band together and, uh, and it's, uh, it's pretty fun. It's, mm -hmm. I, I have a motto, if it's not fun, don't do it. The Spiral Cafe is known for its connection with the local artist community. And, you know, there's a piano there, you know, and. Anyone who's driven by at night sees musicians playing. And, I mean, other things happen in there too, do they not? Do, do you have, what else goes on in there? Well, we have a kid's story time. Right. So we read stories to the kids. We have, uh, sometimes have poetry readings. Right. We have art openings, because we have a different show in the spiral every month. Okay, yeah. So we have that, we've had that, we are part of the uh, Vic West Art Walk. Right. Uh, we try to, um, you know, to support local musicians and and musicians touring mm. on Canada across Canada tours and stuff. So, you know, it's not the kind of place where you're going to make a big payday right. as an artist, but it's a nice warm room and it's uh, m musician friendly and uh, yeah. and all that. So uh, we think we've we're on to something. One of my favorite things to do after I've had a coffee here is to go into Banfield Park and walk around and, and just uh, take in the community. And there's a community garden here also. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? It's called the Rain or for the street, sh or Rain or Shine. Right, Rain or Street, uh, right. Uh, garden, and it's a community garden, so all these plots would be owned by different community members. Mm -hmm. And I think, if I'm not sure, uh, hopefully I'm not getting this wrong, but the outside part is sort of for the public. Right. They also have a garden across the street, and they're, they're kind of focusing on edible, uh, having edible plants for, for people in the community. You know, there's a compost that everybody in the neighborhood uses. We put our coffee grounds in there. Perfect. They've been uh, operating for a while, and uh, as you can see, uh, some people really know how to garden. You've got some great goodies here to eat. Uh, where do you guys get your stuff from? Most of our baking comes from the Patisserie Danielle. Yeah. Up on Cook Street there. Yeah, great Danielle's stuff. a good pal and a friend, and we also get some from Blue Bridge. Okay. Um, we, we have uh, bagels from Mount Royal. Yeah got a baker moving in next door. He's just building a wood-fired oven. Nice. And uh, that should be interesting to have him next door. Yeah. Delivery uh, distance is a little... Cuts it down. Yeah. So if you're hungry, uh, besides being thirsty for coffee, we can feed you too. Thanks for joining me at one of my favorite places to sit and have a really great coffee house experience. I'm Aaron Hall, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again at our next delicious hotspot. Thank you.